following time lapse video shows a comparison of two methods to perform a vertical up fillet weld. One is performed in a traditional method by hand. The other is performed using the Bugo Systems KBUG 3000. The weld for this comparison test is 48 inches long, joining a 1 quarter inch stiffener to a 3 16 inch plate using 045 flux cord wire with 75 argon 25 CO2 gas. The stiffener was tacked to the plate in six places for both welds. In this example, the water using the manually controlled semi-automatic process must squat down to get in position to begin welding. The water strikes the arc and begins to move up the seam. Because the KBUG 3000 is carrying the welding gun, the operator doesn't have to get into any uncomfortable positions to monitor the weld like he does for a manual welding process. The welder must stop welding to reposition himself so he can weld the rest of his joint. When he stops, he has to chip out the slag to prevent any slag inclusion. The welder continues his weld up the stiffener. In the meantime, the KBUG 3000 operator continues his weld without interruption. Eventually, the inconsistency of heat input in the manually controlled weld causes the tack at the top of the stiffener to pop, so he has to stop his weld again. The welder has to re-tack the top of the stiffener to the plate before he can continue his weld. He again has to clean the weld to prevent slag inclusion. The welder using the KBUG 3000 has already preset his welding parameters on his machine. He can simply set the machine against the stiffener on the plate and press the start button to begin the weld. The KBUG 3000 will follow the stiffener up the plate until the welder tells it to stop. The welder can monitor the weld as it's being made to make any steering adjustments that may be necessary without interrupting the weld or stopping to reposition. He can repeat this as many times as necessary for multiple welds. The consistency of the weld made the cleanup of the finished weld very simple and clean. Manually controlled welding subjects the water to repetitive motion, uncomfortable positioning, and fatigue. By taking the welding gun out of the water's hands, the KBUG 3000 gives the water the ability to control the weld consistently over the full length of the weld without fatigue. This enables the water to significantly improve safety and comfort while providing a consistent, repeatable weld. Right towards the end of the manually controlled weld, the water accidentally blows through, so he has to stop again and clean out the joint. Then he must repair the end of his weld. In this example, the KBUG 3000 was able to finish the fillet weld in 6 minutes, while the manually controlled semi-automatic welding process took over 8 minutes, which is roughly a 25% time savings over the course of one weld. This would be compounded over the course of a full day of welding by the additional fatigue of the operator, further slowing down the manually controlled welding process. The nature of welds performed manually can exhibit irregularities such as incomplete fusion, undercut, and an irregular appearance as can be seen on the left. Mechanization of the semi-automatic welding process provides a consistent, precise rate and path and can significantly improve welding production as can be seen on the right. For more information on any of our products, please visit our website at www.bugo.com.